In the previous section, we implemented loop execution rate using the timing express VIs. By the end of this module, you will be able to implement loop execution rate using the compact Rio module data rate. In this section, we'll talk about CRIO module loop execution rates. So some CRIO modules have configurable timing. So if that's the case, then for these modules, you do not need to use the loop timer express VI to time the loop rate. So for example, with the NI9234 module, this is an analog input module, you can actually configure the data rate at which the 9234 module acquires and returns data. So the way that you would do this is you could do this either using a static dialog box. So you can open up a dialog box for the module properties and you can set the data rate there. And that will basically set the acquisition rate that the module will acquire data at. You could also do this programmatically using an FPGA IO property node. And we'll talk about both of these. So in this slide, we see how to statically configure the NI9234 data rate. So if you look on the left there, we've got our project. Uh, we're going to open it up and notice that you can right click the module one, which is our 9234 module and go to properties. Once you select properties, it'll open up a dialog for you. And within there, you can statically configure some of these properties. So notice that data rate is one of these properties and you can select it and choose what rate you want to acquire data at. So for example, here we've selected 51.2 kilosamples per second. Another way to configure the data rate is you can do this programmatically. So on this slide, you see that we can put down an FPGA IO property node, and this is a way that we can access that data rate property. From there, we can create a constant or an input for it, and we can go ahead and select programmatically what the data rate is going to be. So in this case, we programmatically selected 51.2 kilosamples per second for our data rate. So let's go into LabVIEW and see how this looks. Okay, now we're in LabVIEW and we have a project where we have a compact Rio FPGA target. So what we want to do here is we want to configure the data rate of our 9234. So notice our 9234 is right here. We can do this uh, statically by right-clicking our module for the 9234 and going to Properties. So if you take a look at this, we see our module configuration. What we're interested in here is the data rate. So if you want to select a specific data rate, you would go to this drop down menu, and then you can go ahead and select one of these data rates. Okay, so these are all the data rates that are available for the 9234. So in this case, I'm just going to keep the 51.2 kilosamples per second data rate. And I'll click OK. So if I wanted to select the data rate for my 9234 programmatically instead, I would have to use a FPGA IO property node. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to create a new VI real quick. And let's go to the block diagram. So to configure this programmatically, you would right click and you want to go to the FPGA IO palette and place down an IO property node. So I'm going to place this down. And I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to right click it to select uh, what module I want to get the properties of. So I'm going to go to select item. I'm going to go to FPGA target. And in this case, it looks like module two is our 9234. So I'm seeing that just by looking at the project. So I'm going to select module two. And now if I left click on property here, this will give me all the different properties that are available uh, with that particular module. So in this case, I'm going to choose data rate. And then I'm going to right click this input and create a constant. So if I choose a constant, now on my block diagram, I can programmatically set uh, what rate I want this to execute at. So now you've seen how to set the data rate either through a, um, a property window from our project explorer, or you can also do it programmatically through a property uh, node over here for an FPGA IO property node. So in this slide, let's take an example of how we would programmatically set the data rate and just what the application would typically look like. So because the uh, NI9234 can use a data rate property to control the loop execution rate, we won't need to use the loop timer express VI. So let's take a look at this. So 
There in the first frame, we see that we are taking data rate and we are setting it to 51.2 kilosamples per second. In the next frame, we are going to start the module. So, so in, in this case, the way that you would work with the 9234 module is you want to set that property, that start property to true. The next thing you want to do is you get into the actual program where you start acquiring that data. So in this case, we have a while loop. And within that while loop, we, uh, we just continuously read what's coming in at the analog input zero channel. And once we've finished that part of the program, so once someone hits the stop button, then we go to the last part. And in the last frame, we stop the module by setting the stop property to true. One thing to keep in mind is the data rate property will set how often the, the, the module will, will acquire data. However, if we take a look at that while loop and we have some other code in there, that takes longer to, to execute and makes that loop run at a slower rate. Now the loop rate is actually being slowed down by the other code inside that loop. So just keep that in mind. But in this case, we don't have any other code in there. So that while loop is actually going to execute at a rate 51.2 kilosamples per second. Now you can implement loop execution rate using the Compact Rio module data rate. Next, we will describe while loop considerations on an FPGA VI.